what's going on y'all welcome back to another episode of seven deadly sins now before we get into it make sure you guys look at the links down below if you want early access to these reactions on youtube go ahead and click that join button if you want full reactions hit up my patreon if you want uh to check out my live streams where i react to stuff that you guys request either from youtube or tiktok or wherever the fuck on the internet uh or i play games sometimes on there too go ahead and check out my twitch channel I'll give that a follow you know what i'm saying um, and if you don't have a Twitch, you can subscribe to my second YouTube channel, which I pretty much put my Twitch highlights on there. And last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server as well. Click that shit and join our low community. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, last episode on Sins. Uh, I, honestly, one of the best episodes on Sins. And it didn't have any fighting. It was all, uh, the majority of the episode was, was I was all aboard the feels train, dog, on a character that isn't really emotional at all or we haven't really we haven't seen anything meliotis you know he's fucking he he's he's he's, he's groping elizabeth uh, <laughs> you know uh randomly he's fucking he's happy-go-lucky he's always holding out back in fights he's very goku like just like you know just like just like a dude right just like a fucking happy dude right um we never really seen or see him get vulnerable okay we know he's a good guy but we've never seen him like that last episode he was legit crying bawling angry just all types of the negative emotions you know what i'm saying and um you know and him talking in the background of him you know trying to get over this trial trying to get over liz's death he couldn't do it he had to keep it the promise all that type of stuff it was it was fucking crazy and the ost on top of that the ost has been on fire this season the osts in, in the back of, in the background of these scenes so good I don't know what instruments they're using, but it's fucking great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I mean, dude, he, the, the trial he had to go through was was what I guessed. He had to continuously go through his, the worst moment of his life when he, when he destroyed Danafor and when Liz died. Okay, he had to find a way to hold that in and contain it, and instead find the one who did it and then let it out. Then, right? And he finally did it right of course with the help of elizabeth right there's none there's not none like a pretty girl touch you know what i'm saying um but dude i mean that, that that was great it was awesome in a show that i didn't expect any feels train stuff at all i just expected flashy fighting just you know some 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 weird etchy stuff here and there right um boob physics fucking cool fights right um i did not expect uh that type of feels train episode last episode and it was great i loved it you know what i'm saying um, because in the midst of all the fighting there are good times and good timing for scenes like that and that was perfect timing you know what i'm saying also it gave us a little bit of lore of a backstory on meliotis and he really 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 did love that girl you know what i'm saying and i love how he how, how he how he was saying um you know how he tried to forget her along the way, but just going through the, that situation over and over and over again just made him feel that much more for her. And it was great. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? It was awesome. Uh, and of course, the episode ended off with um, Bond. It looks like next we're going to get into some Bond backstory. Now that we got Meliodas figured out, he got his power back. How strong is Meliodas going to be with his power back? I, want, I wonder how much of a percentage um, Merlin took from him. Probably a lot. If this man is constantly holding back like fucking 80, 90% of his power, probably a lot. I can't wait to see him. He's probably ready to 1v1 a 10 commandment. And of course, I think it was hinted that it was one of the 10 commandments that actually killed um, fucking, you know, girl, you know what I'm saying? His girl. So that would be poetic justice and it'd be perfect fucking foreshadowing if he gains his power, finds a dude, the demon that killed his girl and fucking bops him not even a contest levi versus beast titan hopefully it's a it's a slaughter that's what i'm hoping for that'd be that'd be a great scene do it um but yeah so now we're into some bond backstory so i'm all for it so without further ado let's get into it this is seven deadly sins season two episode 10 like subscribe <laughs> the fuck dude bond was a savage when he was a kid <laughs> What? What is happening right now? There's no way that's his parents. His parents are a couple of drunks and druggies, and they tell him to go steal food? What the fuck? Yo, this is where he's from? So he's from the fucking. Yo, Bond's from the hood! 
Straight up. Damn. Okay, abducting children? Jesus Christ. And they're gonna sell him. Child trafficking. <laughs> what the fuck? What just happened? Yo, season two is so much darker than the fucking first season. What the fuck? This is crazy. <laughs> Damn. It's like he's never heard the words arigato in his life. That's fucking sad. There you go. <laughs> so this is Bond's true father figure, I assume. It seems like his current parents are a couple of drunks that beat, it, beat him up. So I wouldn't consider them parents at all. Damn, so dude, we're actually getting to the fucking backstories of all of them. Diane had Matrona, Elizabeth had, I mean, sorry, Meliodas had Liz, and Bon had this guy. Alright, so, I mean, it, it's bound to happen, right? What is the tragic incident that happened to Jivago? That's where we're getting to, right? Happened to everyone else's fucking con significant other, so. Oh, oh, he's a beastman. That's him, right? That's why I said don't trust humans because he's not a human. He couldn't save either of his sons. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Again, another good like episode of like not really fighting, but of just pure story. What the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Damn. Jesus. I mean, fuck. <laughs> this shit is. This shit is great. <laughs> but I mean, also, I'm watching Boruto at the same time as watching this, and that's just, you know. This is like 10 times better. カイザ。下まで抜かんでいい。とはいえ、最低限のものは必要じゃからな。みんなこれを隣子の枝を魔力でほぐしただけのものじゃが、頑強さは折り紙付きじゃよ。全員用意はいいな。オッケー。中に進
I fuck with that. We need we need a little bit of fighting here and there. Oh. Lightning man. <laughs> okay, Gil. Let's go. Alright. Dope. Oh, he's straight up fucking Thor right now. Goddamn, Gil. Oh, that's cool. The cave kicks you out if you fail. That's cool. Damn. I need a cave like that. <laughs> I'll step in right now. Oh shit. Yeah, well, now we know Gotha's android, so it's all good. Huh? Shoulders <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Are we gonna see? Oh, damn. He doesn't have his power back yet. He's, he needs to chill. Damn. I was looking forward to seeing a little taste of Meliodas' new power, but that's okay. I, honestly, I'd rather see it in like a real fight, you know? But a little taste of it, you know, man. I just go like that. What do you do? What do you あいつがしたことは確かに許されねえし、お前の気持ちは十分分かってるつもりだ。でも、十年前からあいつはドレファスに乗り移ったフラウドリンに操られていた。And from what I remember, I believe Fraudrin is that the one that killed Liz? I forget. It was mentioned what killed Liz. It was either Fraudrin or Droll, one of those. King? Yo, King's too emotional, dog. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he, he's, he's definitely led, led, he's he's getting to his feels too much. I get it. You know, love makes you do some crazy shit. I get it. He loves Diane. I get it, man. You know? Um, and uh, Hendrickson did some terrible stuff, sure, but he's definitely in his feels right now. He needs to get out of that. Um, dude. All these backstories are like fucking tragic <laughs> first we got diane you know what i'm saying her fucking s big sister dies in front of her arms by some measly ass poison but luckily she is back and she's stronger than ever matrona then we go into meliotis's backstory over and over and over again has seeing his fucking uh, the love of his life get killed holy shit and then we got bond this fucking his first father his first true first of all Bond's life is fucked up. He was really in the slum slums. He was in the ghetto, right? Stealing the fucking make a living. You know what I'm saying? He, his parents, from what they what they showed, were a couple of drunks who beat his ass and wanted him to steal food for them. <laughs> that, it doesn't get any worse than that. That's just trash. Actual trash. Uh, and of course, Ziv Zivago was his first real father figure. So that's great, right? Um... But then, obviously, it, they, they made the, the, the connection to Zivago being a beastman. When, it, when, when he said, don't trust humans, I had a feeling. But then it was, all, it was obviously confirmed when they were, there, they were doing the back-to-back -back from future to, to past. So that was, that was really well done. Um, but then, dude, uh, it, they made it so he couldn't save either of his sons. Neither Bond being get, getting beaten up by those guards and his actual son, who got attacked in that fucking cave they were living in. It's, oh, man. That's so bad. That's so tragic, man. Um, but luckily, you know, all things align eventually and they met up in the future. And now maybe this guy, I don't know how old he is. I don't know if he can be useful to us, but maybe he can be uh, another ally. You know, I'm sure Beastman um, uh, can fight. He, Bon already saw him um, 
uh, like evade some of those human punches, right? Uh, in a slick ass way. So I think he, he can be an ally to us, hopefully. If not, at least it's another friend for Bond because Bond doesn't have many friends at all. Um, so yeah, that was dope. And now this cave of training seems pretty cool. They got, they got to do, do some trials and tribulations. I like the lightning armor uh, by Gil, very nice. Uh, now we're gonna see, I guess, Meliodas versus King. Um, and it looks like Meliodas didn't get his power back fully yet. He uh, apparently he has to rest and rehabilitate, which is fine. Like I said, I would much rather see the full extent of his power in an actual fight up against the one who killed Liz, which is probably Fraudrin, the way you know it's been foreshadowed, or have they said it already? I forget. Um, a lot of information has been passed through the, this past season, so I can't remember everything. Um, it was either Fraudrin or Droll that, uh, that they said that killed that killed Liz. I, I don't remember. Anyway, um, yeah. So, hey, here I am. Looking forward to the next episode very much again, because Seven Deadly Sins right now is absolute fire. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this reaction, though, guys. Before I end, make sure I look at the links down below. If you want early access to these reactions here on YouTube, go ahead and click that join button. If you want full reactions, go and hit on my Patreon. If you want to watch some of my live streams of where I react to stuff that you guys request, whether it be YouTube or TikTok or whatever the fuck's on the internet, uh, or sometimes I play games on there, go ahead and check out my Twitch channel. Give that a follow. And if you don't have a Twitch, you can subscribe to my second YouTube channel down there as well. And last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server. Go ahead and click that shit and join a little community. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. And I will see y'all in the next episode of Seven Deadly Sins. All right. Peace.